Former U.N. Ambassador and ex-South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is hitting back after people were outraged by her claim that white supremacist shooter Dylan Roof hijacked the meaning of the Confederate flag. Watch. Here is this guy that comes out with his manifesto holding the Confederate flag and had just hijacked everything that people thought of. And we don't have hateful people in South Carolina. There's always the small minority that's always going to be there. But... You know, people saw it as service and sacrifice and heritage. And but once he did that, there was there was no way to overcome it. So she clarified her comments in an op ed writing that she's called the flag of si uh, a symbol of slavery, discrimination and hate and even removed it when she was governor. But some Southerners see it as a symbol of Southern pride, and she respects their opinion. So can she have it both ways? You're re she's saying she's talking out of two sides of her mouth, basically. Mm -hmm. But it kind of goes with the both sides thing that Trump likes to push. Yeah. yeah, I have a lot to say about this, but do you want me to go first? Or Why not? Okay. Um, all right. I hardly ever go first, so <laughs> get, let me give this a whirl. Um, so. This, when I first saw her making these comments to The Blaze, by the way, which Glenn Beck apparently still has a show, I didn't know that. Um, Does he? And yeah, and oh, I thought, the I, thought I did too. I thought that it was a very bizarre um, subject to be bringing up, and this is something that, a conversation that's been going on for decades and decades and decades. And I thought as the woman who now famously removed the Confederate flag from the right. South Carolina Capitol, it seemed like a strange stance. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very deep issue for my family in particular, because because, and I know everyone gets very triggered and upset when I talk about my dad, but please just bear with me. When he was running for president in 1999, he said that he thought, he agreed, that the Confederate flag should be above the South Carolina Capitol, that it was a symbol of heritage. He came to regret it and called it the biggest mistake of his life, and I actually want to show a clip of him saying that. Okay. My ancestors fought for the Confederacy, and I am sure that many, maybe all of them, fought with courage and with faith that they were serving a cause greater than themselves. But I don't believe their service, however distinguished, needs to be commemorated in a way that offends, that deeply hurts people whose ancestors were once denied their freedom by my ancestors. So I will say this Good for him. plagued him yeah. up until the day he died. Yeah. Plagued him. I believe we talked about it on the show he when he was it on. to me when he was on the show. Pla yeah. To, to the up until the point that he died, he called it one of his life's. I, he had two big life regrets. This is one of them. It haunted him. This will haunt her. It will. Trust me. And this was in 1999, wow. over 20 years ago. So I don't understand why we're still talking about it. I don't understand why we're still debating the Confederate flag. It's a symbol of racism. And I know there you are know people why? in the South that think differently, but it's not about what people like me think. But because, you know why again, we're still debating it? Because we don't have John McCain or a John McCain anymore. There's nobody in the Republican leadership that's like him. But this is not a very one. bizarre argument to still be having well, 20 years later. And I, also, and I actually think that it's disqualifying for her to run for national office now that she's made this statement. It's fine. It is completely completely disqualifying for her and in that op-ed that she wrote to try to clean up what she said on air she's uh, she said now she's saying now that it's because of outrage culture that uh, you could never now remove the flag from the South Carolina Capitol and I think what's interesting is she's now trying to diminish the very oppression of my community yeah. of my ancestors by calling it outrage well I am outraged by that position <laughs> because you know South Carolina actually in, in uh, I believe it was 1860, became the first state to commit treason by officially declaring that its citizens didn't want to be part of the United States if it meant they couldn't treat black people as property. The first state to commit treason. And nowhere in that declaration did they mention sacrifice, did they mention heritage. Slavery was mentioned 18 times in that declaration. 18 times. And so for her to somehow say that people think that the Confederate flag is about service and it's about heritage, it is about slavery, it is about the oppression of black people, nothing more. And she knows that. So she knows so you that. Think that, that she should she, never think, run for national office. I think office. point is interesting, though, because she does know better. She knows she better. It. And I do think what's interesting is that when I originally saw her interview, I thought, oh, she's clearly running for president in yeah. four years. It's very evident that she thinks that Trump is the wave of the future, and in order yeah. to do it, I'm going to need his supporters. Yep. And apparently his supporters are people that think, or some of them, that the Confederate flag is something that's going to be okay. And for me, that is a very dangerous gamble. No Because kidding. as a woman who will not come on our show, and we, I 
have asked, Abby and I personally asked her staff many times, someone who will not show her face on this show, for me, I don't know, I used to, I, I think at one point in time I said I would join her campaign if she were running for president. Yeah. Whatever this mode is, there's a lot of young conservative women in the country that are not going to get on board with it, and defending the Confederate flag is exhibit A of the best way to get so people this like is, me fleeing. So you think that